In this video, I'm going to show you how to make timing changes. So first of all, we need to find out where's vacuum and where's boost. And if you turn off the ignition, you'll have a little red box that'll settle somewhere. Let's say it's there. So any 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 time the vehicle is above that value, it'll be in boost. Any time it's below it, it will be in vacuum. This is where the factory boost will go to the maximum. So you can put a green line here as well if you want to. So this is just a marking for me. That doesn't mean anything. But um, so that I know this is vacuum, this is boost, and this is where I increase the boost. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this and just go down and say control I. So if you do it this way, then the unit chip will know when the vehicle goes into boost and then when it goes into above factory boost and it will autom automatically take out the timing so there's no issues of knocking or anything like that. 